Philadelphia, it's got to be good to be back outside, huh? Oh, it was great to be outside. It's a beautiful Bowling Green, Ohio day. Can't ask for anything better on opening day, that's for sure. Absolutely. And give us a little bit about, obviously, you know, coming back into this season. You know, you got a two-back quarter, two-quarterback race with Matt Johnson and James Kanapke. Both great players with good reps. Tell us, is it going to be a really big challenge to find, figure out who your starter is going to be coming this fall? We have a four-quarterback race because we also have Clayton Nichols and Cody Calloway. So after those four guys get through battling it out, I'm sure that whoever rises to the top, we're going to have an outstanding quarterback. And what's the mission? What's the mission, you know, going this spring's practice, get you guys ready for your first game against Tennessee down in Nashville? You know, obviously you got to have a big goal set in mind. What's the mission starting out the first day today? Just doing what we do, focus on the fundamentals and the basics, get back to just chasing the ball and, and playing Falcon football. How, how much does it help your team competition-wise across the board, having guys who are hurt throughout the season like Matt come back, even Travis and Box come back who are – who are, kind of, who are banged up early in the season. You know, I, I think it does help the football team. We had a lot of guys that got uh, reps, a lot of guys that got into games, and maybe before we really wanted to put them into games, just based off of necessity and how many people that we had available at each position. And it's, it's always a, a, a chore during the season, but when it comes to the off season and now you've got a team full of experienced guys, it always makes it a lot better. So I'm really excited, and I thought it was a good practice out here today just the importance of those guys who were injured throughout the year to get back on the field, even for them mentally, just to get back and get going again? Oh, I, I think it was big. I mean, and I think the other, more importantly for the guys that were injured to be back on the field, it's the guys that they play with. I mean, it was just good to see those guys running around MJ and some of the guys that have been banged up, to see them out here moving around again, knowing that life is going to be okay, that they're, they're all recovered and uh, they've got an opportunity to be full speed players again is really exciting. Did uh, Chris Gallon practice at all today? No, but he stood around and he looked mighty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> just tell us, how fun is this? I mean, how fun is it just, you know, and you have to be inside, you know, a rough winter around here in Northwest Ohio, but how fun is it just to get back outside with these guys, get back to work, and get down to business like you, like you said, you get back down to BGSU football? Second coldest winter in the history of the state of Ohio <laughs> for the month of February. Not that detail is important and I would know something like that. It's been great. I mean, it's a, it's a really nice day. I mean, if we get 14 days like this, there's not a single reporter or coach that's going to complain, correct? I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>